gonna say something? Or... <laughs> All right, headed into Bass Pro Pyramid in Memphis. We'll see what they got. We'll see what we come out with. This is supposedly the largest Bass Pro Shop there is. We've been to the one in Springfield, but I don't know. They're both pretty big. Going in. The door. There's part of the hotel. Um. This. This is the inside of the Bass Pro Shops in the Pyramid. You can see the internal structure of the Pyramid there. We actually have a lake pond in here. They got ducks, they got fish. You can see some of the hotel rooms, the inside access right there. They have an upstairs and a downstairs. And then this big blue thing here in the center is the elevator to get to the top. There's a restaurant and a viewing deck up there. This? A very large, I think that's a white sturgeon. Not 100% sure on that, but pretty big fish that they've got in here. And then they've got boats in the water. You can walk out on the boats. And they do have a restaurant back there in the back called Uncle Buck's Fish Bowl. And it's got a bowling alley inside of it as well. Pretty cool. Yep. There's the alligator tank. Enclosure. This way. They've got six of them in here this time. There's the elevator. Spraying down with the. for the next crowd. There he is. Look at that. Warming up. They've got e bikes in here as well. Uh, looks like a. Ranger brand. I'm sorry, Quiet Cat. Ranger is the model. Chris, that is a whole bunch of cars. Yeah, look at that one. Yay. Look at that. Oh, look at that one. Oh, wow, that one's fat. Super fat. Look at all these cars. That's a whole bunch of cars. Here's another pond that they've got that's in the back of the building by Uncle Buck's Fish Bowl. You can see some of the large fish in there. There's the upstairs with their camping gear, hunting gear, stuff like that. Big fish tank. There's a closer view of the elevator that goes upstairs. All the way up. Don't know if you can see this. See how big he is. A little one. Yes. Ooh, and there's Uncle Buck's restaurant with the bowling alley over there. Big aquarium. On this side. There's the top of the aquarium and the restaurant. One through one. Big glass windows. Upstairs. And the 
like camping. Camping supplies. Dad's got to wear the hat. <laughs> so what we're realizing pretty quickly is that most of what they've got is tent camping type of stuff rather than RV camping type of stuff. So we're still going to look and see what they've got, but not sure we'll end up picking up a whole lot of things in here. But if you do tent camping, RV camping mixture, then it might be a pretty good thing for you. So we've been in here several times, but we've never actually been in here looking for the camping stuff. So we hadn't really paid attention to what type it was. So here's a view from the balcony upstairs. See the ponds and the fish in there. See the hotel rooms across from us. See the elevator again right there. And down below us, you see the aquarium I showed earlier. Waterfall going down into it from up above. More hotel rooms behind us. This is right here by the hunting area. There you go. Turkey calls and all kinds of stuff over here. Gun section back there in the back. Bows over here to the other side. One of the buildings that they've got in here is a general store slash fudge shop. Amazingly a, yummy fudge. Yep. Mindy loves it. It's been a while since we've been here and gotten fudge in there. Mindy, what do you think? You think we're going to get some over here? Uh, of course. Okay. No. <laughs> Guess I don't have a choice in that. have to contribute to my... It's not like I would pass up the fudge anyway, it's pretty good. So <laughs> now we're over here in the waterfowl area. You can see some of the decoys up there. Some of the other stuff around here. We just passed the hunting clothing area back there behind us. From this angle here, I don't know how well it shows up, but from this angle here, it looks kind of like a hunting and outdoor Las Vegas. Spanish moss everywhere. There's the elevator again. Again, we're upstairs, so you can see how high that elevator is. I don't recall the exact fact, but there was something about this being the highest freestanding elevator. I'll have to look that up and tell uh, and, and uh, put on here exactly what that fact was. But something about the highest freestanding elevator. I actually forgot about this because we don't come to this end of the pyramid very often when we come here, but they have an American waterfowl museum here, so. Since Mindy is always cold, she has found her outfit for going camping. And we're in the elevator, going down through the waterfall. Mom and Chris decided to race us to see who'd get there faster, the stairs or the elevator. Do no. you think we won? Yeah. I don't think so. Here is the waterfall in the area behind the elevator where we just went through. There's a tunnel that goes underneath the waterfall right here. Back in the back of the building, they have all the fishing area on the ground floor. Fly fishing, reel fishing, all of that. Well, we were going to take you up in the elevator and show you the view from the balcony upstairs, but there is the elevator right over there. And here is the line to pay to go up the elevator to the observation deck. So, not today. Here is the information for the observation deck, hours of operation, and prices in case you're interested. Today is February 27th, 27th, 2021. So, not sure if these prices will change or times will change, but that's what they are as, to, as of today. Here is the front view of the fish tank that we were looking at from the top there, right there next to it. Waterfall from the bottom, some bighorn sheep on it. Mandy and the kids have found the candy and fudge shop. We're 
in Memphis. We've got some local flavors here, barbecue sauce, seasoning. Got a lot of stuff in here that's pretty cool. Got all old antiques and stuff like that. No. This is their wall of hot sauce. Now, if you've been to New Orleans and you've seen any of the hot sauce shops down there, this is nothing. But they do have a decent assortment right here. Here's the elevator going up from right underneath it so you can see, again, how tall that is going upstairs. This is the pond right at the entrance when you come in. There are actually trout in this one. So they'll probably keep this one pretty cool. This is the boating section. Got kayaks, boating accessories. Got some boats over here. You saw the ones that were in the water. Trackers, fish finders, depth finders like that. Sales offices, parts offices. And more. I think we're done for today. We're going to pay for our fudge. Didn't really pick anything up. Found a couple of things we might come back for later, but nothing we can't live without today. Now we are at Gander Outdoors in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, we're going to see how this compares to Bass Pro. Uh, kind of an unfair comparison because as we're pulling in the parking lot, there are RVs everywhere. So uh, for someone who's shopping for RV components, I would assume that Gander Outdoors is going to have a lot more for RVs than what Bass Pro did. Also, uh, Gander is owned by Camping World. so. I would assume, again, that they would have more RV essentials. So go in and check it out. We'll see what they got. OK, so obviously I completely underestimated the amount of RV stuff here at Gander Outdoors. Never been in this place, so wasn't sure. I remember years ago when it was Gander Mountain and it was more like Bass Pro, Cabela's, stuff like that. Now that Bass Pro owns Cabela's, uh, their assortment's about the same. So figured we'd come in and check out Gander and see what it was like see what they had and it is more RV than anything else so you've got your clothing accessories here gander you've got your fishing supplies you've got marine back here on this side there's chairs more outdoor living RV essentials this whole center section here is camping world accessories Good Sam advertisement there, also Camping World owned. So this is more a little bit Craft Pro like and a lot Camping World like. So if you're looking for RV camping accessories, Gander Outdoors is definitely the place to go. But Bass Pro does have some things that you can pick up. But again, like I mentioned, Bass Pro is more of a tent camping slash RV camping mixture leaning more towards tent camping than anything else. Mindy and Chris have found their chairs. Hunting accessories back here. Knives and guns over there to that side. Just saw uh, Olivia. Come up here to Gander RV, excuse me, Gander Outdoors to check out the stuff that they have for RV accessories. And what do we end up doing? Walking through new RVs to check them out. Because the one we got a month ago is not good enough currently. No, just kidding. We like the one we got, but always good to look at what's out there in case we decide we want to upgrade in the future. 
Well, that was another trip to another RV store. Didn't find anything that we could not live without. Found some things, got some ideas of things that we would like to get, um, especially for our bigger trip this summer. Yeah, I think what we've learned is that in the world of Amazon, there's not a whole lot that you really need to go to a local RV store to purchase, unless it's something that you absolutely need right now. So, you know, we go on our first camping trip, we're going to be pretty close to camping world so if we discover something on our shakedown trip that we need we might have to run over there and get it but otherwise we're just going to take notes and probably end up purchasing everything we need on Amazon so now we're headed back home we're on the way home just made a stop on the way to grab a few things that we needed uh, not RV related not uh, trip related but uh, wanted to do a quick recap uh, you know we went to Bass Pro hopefully gave you a good tour of the pyramid there with the Bass Pro uh, and then we decided to go to Gander Outdoors and compare Bass Pro and Gander Outdoors as far as they go for RV accessories, uh, RV needs. You know, we, we have both of those fairly close to the house, so we wanted to see where we could go if we needed anything uh, that we discovered kind of last minute. Um, I think what we figured out is, like I said, Amazon is probably going to be our best bet if we do need something last minute. Uh, Gander Outdoors, we also have a camping world about 45 minutes away, uh, will probably be our best bet uh, for stopping to get those last minute accessories but uh, anyway hopefully we gave you a pretty good tour of both places that way you can save yourself some time and know exactly where to go if you do need to get some of that stuff and Chris don't forget to hit like and subscribe for our upcoming adventures all right so we'll see you next time our uh, video next week should be our shakedown camping trip so thanks a lot